welcome to Tuesday on BBC One. Let's get started with breakfast. Hello, this is Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and Dan Walker. Six and a half thousand migrants are rescued from the Mediterranean Sea on a single day. The Italian Coast Guard says yesterday's dramatic operation was one of the biggest of its kind. Five-day-old twins were among the thousands travelling from Libya who were taken ashore. The director Mel Brooks, who cast him in Blazing Saddles and the producers, called him one of the great talents of our time. Nick Hyam looks back at some of his most famous roles. Hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. A young Gene Wilder as Roald Dahl's fantastical Willy Wonka, a character that's delighted children for over 40 years. You have 58 seconds. Well, England... He'd made his name in the films of Mel Brooks, way over the top yet irresistibly funny. No one could do hysteria quite like Gene Wilder. Mr. Bialystok, I cannot function in these conditions! The Waco Kid. The pair went on to make a series of films together. In Blazing Saddles, he was the burnt-out Waco Kid, once the fastest gun in the West. Look at that. Steady as a rock. Yeah, but I shoot with this hand. They'll be there when we're dancing. Yeah. Acting success led to a career as a writer and director as well. He was not, he said, in private life, a funny man. When I do make jokes, they're usually not that funny. They're kind of corny. But um, if I go in public somewhere, the first thing people say, come on, come on, <laughs> let's have one. After Mel Brooks, he formed a second partnership with Richard Pryor, notably as a pair of wrongly convicted prisoners. I hereby sentence you to serve 125 years in the custody of the Commissioner of the Department of Corrections. When his third wife died of cancer, he became a high-profile campaigner for better prevention, along with Princess Diana, and he effectively swapped film roles for television, starring in his own series. But he'll be remembered chiefly for those classic Wilder performances, combining his bulging eyes and wild hair with rampaging neurosis and just a touch of sentimentality. I mean, 